Hi everyone, this is Dave from Geekanoids and this is my review of the Sony Ericsson iNo mobile phone. Now this is one cool looking phone, certainly something a little bit different from Sony Ericsson. So let's first of all take a look at what you get inside the box. Now the first thing you're going to discover is obviously the handset itself. And this is a slider phone, so it reveals the numeric keypad as you can see here. And then once it's closed, it does present you with this landscape format and it does actually accept touch input as well. So I'm going to take a closer look at the handset for you in a while, but let's look at what else you get inside the packaging. Now this little gadget here, rather interesting, this is a little Bluetooth add-on for the phone. And you can clip this obviously to a belt. Um, it turns on via a button on the bottom of the handset here. And this is where you also see the, the charging area. And we've got some LEDs that flash up to show you the various status of the battery and the connectivity. And then we've also got a, um, a little button here which is used to accept and to make calls. And then on the top of this uh, little uh, device you've got a 3.5mm audio jack. And in here you can actually connect any set of headphones that you want or you could also use this to connect it with a wire to perhaps your hi-fi system and this supports A2 DP stereo so you can use it to either listen to your music for your earphones or to stream uh, music from the handset to perhaps a hi-fi system so nice little device that they've included there now underneath the uh, top section We've got the usual accessories you'd expect to see. We've got a uh, proprietary connection here for the charger, Sony Ericsson's connection there, and we're in the UK, so we've got a three pin UK plug. We've also got a USB cable, and again, the Sony proprietary connection there, USB connection on the other end, and you can obviously use that for connecting your handset to your computer and it does actually charge it as well but it's also used for uh, transferring data across to the handset such as media files next thing in here we're going to find is hands-free kit uh, I'm going to be completely honest with you here I haven't tested this at all um, it's going to be the regular sort of Sony Ericsson headset. I've used these before from Sony Ericsson. They're very comfortable in the ear and they do produce a better sound than most bundled headphones. So very worthwhile to perhaps try these before you go invest in any money. Put those to one side. We've also got some printed uh, user guide here to get you started, some important information, some FCC statements, some details about movies and some SAR information. So nice at least that you do get a little printed user guide. And then this one here is quite interesting, you don't normally get this bundled with mobile phones, but this is a little dock. And basically, uh, on the back of the dock here, if I just look, sorry, on this side just underneath, uh, there's two connections here. So this can be used for uh, plugging in a mains power adapter here, and this could be used for uh, using that USB cable so that it will automatically synchronize to your desktop when you plug it in. And then on the top of this unit, uh, we've got uh, two connectors which uh, line up this one here lines up with the phone so you can actually dock the phone onto this desktop stand so you could use it perhaps at a bedside uh, so it uses that landscape portrait screen it also displays it at a nice angle so that you can watch your media back and then here you can actually charge that um, uh, Bluetooth A2DP stereo receiver so that's fully charged all the time as well. So they've really thought this out. It works very nicely. Um, and I think that that's a nice inclusion 
with the Sony Ino. So now let's take a closer look at the actual uh, Sony Ino mobile phone. This video review is sponsored by EasyDraw, making drawing fun on Mac OS X.